Did you ever worry about the guy coming back? Yeah. Hell yeah. He was a shooter. You got to understand, I was young at that time. You see what I'm saying? So I was in the streets, but I was more of a, a fighter at that time than I was playing with, with, with guns. But, you know, at that point, you got to, you ain't got no choice but to step up and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was, I had to be on it. It was, it was like that. He was a, he was a different type of guy. You know what I'm saying? He approached you at one point, right? Yeah. Yeah. As time went on, like I said, this leg, my left leg was kind of bad. And um, what happened was I'm washing my car one day, but I knew what kind of car he drove, right? And I'm doing something to my tire and this car come up. And when the car came up, it was him. But the way my leg was, I couldn't get myself up in time. And my gun was inside the house. My, my window was right there. My cousin was staying with me at the time. And um, I'm like, damn, he got me. As soon as I seen the car, he like hopped out. And he like, yo, I, I just want to holler at you. So I'm like, Phew. I'm like, damn, he already hit me once. You know what I'm saying? Then his little nigga got hit in the process of the shootout. So now I'm looking and I'm like, this shit ain't gonna go right. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna tag me and I, I can't run because my leg still up. But he like, no, this shit was all wrong. It was a miscommunication. You know what I'm saying? On they end and it just got kind of, we, we kind of squashed it, which was kind of like the best thing to do at that time. At that period of my life at that time, because like I said, I, I was active, but I was more of a fighter than I was playing with that, you know what I'm saying? And he was, he was polished at that time. Like that's what he do, and he was older than me. So it was a different thing then. Okay, and uh, I believe at one point, you know, you moved out of your house early? Yeah, I moved out of my house. I left home when I was 15. Never went back. Mm. How can you moved out so early? Because at the time, right, my little sister, uh, dad was there we ain't really get along like that like we're cool now though but we didn't really get along like that you know it's like going through that you ain't my dad shit and you know what i mean so we just i was sticking my chest out so it's like man i'm out of here you know what i'm saying and uh i was just on my own like that's what i wanted to do you know what i mean i wanted to i wanted to get money you know what i mean i was hanging around older people i was hustling i wanted to get money so i started living with my man who was older than me, you know what I'm saying? And I was just, I start, I started getting to getting to it. What was that like for you being out as at such a young age? You know, you're kind of on your own at that point. The first, I would say the first maybe couple months was rough. Shit, I was damn near homeless at first. Like, nowhere to go. Like my family wasn't like we what I ain't had a family where we had all these houses and like I didn't I didn't have that. Like my family was small, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, I might stay over my man house this night. I might stay over my other man house this night. We, I, we used to play ball back in the day. So I play ball all day and won't nobody know I might sleep on the bench that night. Come back, they think I'm coming back to play ball, but I never left, you know what I'm saying? And then I go to my grandma's house and wash up. You know what I mean? Put something on, they come back out. So the whole day would be, my whole day would be cool but I'd be like, in my mind, while we playing ball, when it's getting dark, like, where well, I'm gonna stay at tonight. That made me try to figure out I needed to hustle. So I started hustling weed. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was just doing whatever I needed to do to survive. Were you rapping at this time? No, like, I knew how because you gotta figure this was, this was like, it was like early. It was like early, you know what I'm saying? Like like real early for me. So no, I wasn't, but I liked it, but I wasn't on it because I was just focused on trying to get some money. Okay. And you know, you move in with your friend, and how does that work out when you guys are living there? My man, his mom had he was older, so his mom had left him a house. I think she had moved to like Jersey or something. He used to cut my hair. He like, man, you can stay here. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would stay there. But we kind of had like a little fallout because I was selling like a lot of weed back then. But he used to be like, he, he had like a weed problem. Like that's why I never had no vices. 
he had like a weed problem. So he was going to my stash and shit like that. I'm like, oh no, I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I, uh, I moved out, got my own apartment. You know what I'm saying? And I just started taking care of myself. Like never turned back. What's that like? You got your own apartment and you're, you're, you're young. You throwing parties? No, I wasn't really throwing parties. Like, I had my high school sweetheart with me at the town, so we had a spot together. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like normal. It was, I was more so happy that I had a roof. You know what I'm saying? That I could just sleep at night. I ain't got to get up and rush. I ain't got to jump up before nobody people's come in. I ain't got to do none of that. I could just relax. And I think I kind of got used to that and just being like I had to be older early you know because you gotta remember at the time when I left home I was 15 so started hustling you gotta figure I'm at like 17 now you gotta remember this prior before I get shot I didn't get shot yet I didn't get shot till I was about 18 night somewhere in there like between 18 and 20 is when I got shot so from 15 to then from 15 to now, I've been on my own. I haven't been back home. Okay, and I believe you said when you got shot is, is when you started rapping? Exactly. You know, who are some people you looked up to? Well, one of my best friends, he was uh, he was always rapping. So I used to always go to his house when I was like 10. Like I used to wear his sneakers and all that. Like go up on this, like he used to have all the sneakers. I used to go up on this big of the sneakers. He had the turntables, we played with the turntables and all that. But he he wanted to rap, so I just I would mess with it, but I wasn't really messing with it like that. So it was just always like in me. So like I said, you know, when I got shot, that's when I start really, really like taking it seriously. That was my that was like my medication. You know what I'm saying? So I would write verses like I would listen to like Pop, I would listen to Scarface, G Rap. You know what I mean? I was just like, damn, like if they could talk about what they dealing with, I could talk about what I'm dealing with. So I would write my verses. And just put whatever it is I was feeling like, and I would I would just write them and I would say them on records, and we would go in the studio and record like, like my first studio sessions, like studio time back then was high as shit, so I would write two and three songs, and but now you gotta deliver it right because you only got a couple hours, so I might get two songs down and then rush the last song, you know what I mean? And I was just always conditioned like that for a long time in the beginning. To always do three records in the studio, but the first two be right. The third one be off. That's the one you work on when you come back and book a new session, and then you do your new two after that song. You know what I'm saying? So I was always conditioned to do that. Okay. Uh, were you producing two at the time? Uh, I started messing with the MP when when I had got shot. I had the, when I had the closet bag. I figured my first probably, I would say my first. Three to four months, I was stuck in the house. Cause I couldn't really move that much like that with my leg, like, you know what I mean? And I knew I couldn't really be out there like that cause I was, it was a war, it was on. So I went and brought music equipment and that's when I started like working on it, making beats and shit like that. A lot of people don't know that I used to make beats. I don't even be saying nothing. <laughs> you slick with that one. You been, you been digging. What happened? You been digging, you been, you been digging. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. We did some good homework, man. Yeah.